Hey guys. Hey Bobby. Uh, how are you doing? Um, I wasn't going to stream today, but <sighs> to be honest, I needed to do some coding and uh, <laughs> I didn't want to. So first, I'm going to do one hour of tactics or so. Muy bien, y tú? Muy bien. Mm, what is this? Ah. <sighs> Okay. Huh. Okay, so let's let's go for it. You don't understand English since when, Bobby? <laughs> okay, let's go. Rar. No, no. Uh oh. I think maybe there were no twenty-four hours since my last attempt yeah it was yesterday in the night <laughs> okay uh, this means I will probably need to abort <laughs> I will probably need to abort uh, hmm I guess the same will apply to the tactics right <laughs> I probably need to wait for one or two hours let me start yeah the same okay so I need to, to wait for one or two hours before I can do this, okay? Mm, or I can pay. Go premium. Uh, no. I think I'm going to change the subject of the stream. Um, and it's not going to be chess. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, let's change the title of the stream. And uh, what's the category for coding? <laughs> you only like chess? I'm sorry about that. I mean, I could go on lead chess and play, but I don't feel like playing today. No, your, your, your sentence was correct. Gusta, with A, with an A, it was correct. Um, how can I search for categories on Twitch? Twitch. Okay, I'm gonna show you my my Twitch dashboard. Unintended, but I, I will. Um, hmm. Is it programming or coding? I think it's programming, maybe. Mm -mm -mm. So okay, instead of doing the tactics, I will code a Twitch bot. So need to change the category. I think it's programming, probably. Coding, coding for Carols, codinggame.com. I don't know what that is. Por qué no hay nadie en el chat? I don't know. Code. No, I think it's programming. Program. Sorry for my Spanish. I forgot everything. No, it it, it was okay. Basic programming. Science and technology. Whoa, there's no programming category anymore? Maybe it wasn't programming. Science and technology? Maybe it's science and technology. Software. Software manager. Ugh. It used to be okay been years since I didn't practice Spanish. Well, we have a, a channel for Spanish on Discord. I have it there for people who want to practice Spanish, but they don't seem to use it a lot. But if, if you want to join my Discord, if you're not there, <laughs> um, there's a channel for Sp just for, you know to practice Spanish. Yeah, you said hola, okay, <laughs> perfect. People don't use it a lot. 
but I will answer any any messages. Hey Alba, coding? No, the, I tried this already. Science and technology. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with science and technology. Oh, let me let me finally search for bot. Botland. Botland. Oh, cool. So can you create new categories? I'm here to mod now. Everyone can relax. Oh, you're a mod now. That's true. Uh, I'm going to change the title of the stream. <laughs> Alba, I'm not going to do tactics because <clears throat> I need to wait or go premium. So instead I'm going to do a programming stream and I'm going to develop a Twitch bot. So let's go with science and technology, which, which is the best suggestion I got, which is strange. Um, and the title is going to be Coding a Twitch Bot Update Five years ago I was better in Spanish than in English but I forgot everything Oh, that's cool I'm better in Spanish than in English <laughs> for sure I'm better in Galician than in Spanish How many hours a week do you do programming, Pepe? Mm. Paid? I mean, hours paid, 30. And then the rest. <laughs> okay, so... Every, every day, every time. Um, it's my main language, actually. Must be nice to have all that energy. What energy? Um, where is my terminal? Okay, now I need to open a terminal. Uh, Let's see how I do this. And I need to share the terminal with you. It's gonna be funny because I don't have the proper layout for this. <laughs> Let's say something like this. And now I'm gonna take this. And how do I do this? Hmm. Okay, so this is the browser and you see it more or less fine. Actually, let me... Let me show you proper in proper width. Like that. You have two jobs. I work less than 30 hours a week and I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. Especially, you know, this week I started running again and I cut down on drinking alcohol to changes at the same time not good I'm really exhausted these days and also some other challenging stuff is going on in my life there's always challenging stuff in my life <laughs> um, yeah it's exhausting I agree um, but it is what it is my dog has more energy than I, so he keeps me active. <laughs> um, okay, now I will find a way to share the terminal with you. So let me go here. Now you're gonna see the window like broken, and I'm gonna be removing stuff like this. This, 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 this. Now you should only see my face. And I'm gonna add the terminal. I should have prepared this before the stream, but shit happens. 
the screen capture. Uh, new one. What was that? Richsmo. Richsmo. Thanks for the follow. I usually do chess, but I'm today going to do some. Uh, okay. This wasn't good. Some coding. Okay, screen capture. Again, let's call it terminal. Terminal. Capture window. I term. Yes, okay. Now it's good. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, what I'm going to do is first of all create a repository for the project. So, what's the idea? My idea is to create a Feasibot. I'm going to call it Feasibot, a bot for the chat, for the Twitch chat. What is he going to do? Or she, what is she going to do? Um, or it? Okay, never mind. Um, it's going to be smarter than Nightbot. I know that's not that's not difficult, <laughs> but we need to start at some point. GitHub. Um, probably need to create a new Twitch user, don't I? I'm going to do that in a different window, just for security purposes. While here I'm going to be creating a new repository. I should put some music, right? Um, this is going to be PC PC bot uh, Twitch bot just a Twitch bot just another Twitch bot A fifty one. Okay, initialize with a readme, add git ignore for for node, license ISC. Do we have ISC here? Nope. Okay, no license so far. Create repository. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, the next step is to clone the repository and for that purpose I'm going to go to my terminal. I hope you can read. I put a very big, very big font size. <laughs> um, I'm gonna clone that. Maybe I need to enter my password? Yeah. So let me prevent that in, in further commands. Okay, added the identity. I entered the PC bot folder and we only have 
the red me there. Okay. It's a starting point. Um, if we follow the the instructions on how to use TMI, um, we just need to to do an npm, an, an NPM install uh, TMI TMI.js save. Oh, I should have done a TM an, an, an NPM init first. Probably. Actually, let me abort this. <laughs> let me see if it created something. Uh, no. Okay, perfect. And I'm in it. Yeah, that's that's better. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to keep creating this account. But for that, I need to use some random new email. Okay, package name, Fizzybot is okay, version okay, description, um, the same, just another which bot one entry point index, seems fair, test command, nope, repo, yes, keywords, nope, author, blue. license is okay, Everything's okay, yes. Uh, I'm gonna change the entry point instead of index. I'm gonna use app. I feel more comfortable with app. Okay, everything's fine. And now I can install... Now I can install TMI. TMI is a library uh, for Node well, a JavaScript library um, for connecting to the Twitch API so it's going to be um, what I'm going to use to to develop the, the bot okay, I should have not done this Okay, uh, it should be installed, and now we have the package log JSON. Now I should do an npm install to bring the dependencies. Although probably better is to start doing some code. Uh, or both. Well, let's install first. Mm -mm -mm. Should I put music? Can I put music? That's, that's, that's the question. Um, so let me turn this Bluetooth, Bluetooth off. Okay, next step is to start coding, guys. Uh, let's open up JS. I'm gonna require TMI. Um, TMI.js, if I'm right. And if I remember correctly, there's some options. Uh, first one was debug, true. And connection. I need to read the documentation on this. 
One second. Functions. Oh, I'm not sharing the. Oh, it's hard to switch from console from terminal to. To, 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 to configuration probably uh, yeah connection um I guess default is okay. I have to connect the music here too. Um, okay. Okay, now there. code yeah I'm gonna use uh, no this is um, plus plus And this is where it comes what I need to to create. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna put values here later. And for now I'm gonna connect to my channel. There. And once I got the options, I just need to create the clients. New in my clients with those options and clients comments. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I need to do some on uh, let's say chat for example. Um, no, let's say unconnected. Unconnected let's let's say um, I need to change this the channel name. Okay. Um, let me see the documentation. The client on. Can see in which channel are we probably. Probably should. Uh, commands events. Connected. Huh. Ah. Uh, of course, this is just connected to the server. This is not connected to a channel. Okay, what commands? What events? We receive from a specific channel. Hmm. Hosted hosting. Whenever a username joins the channel, can I see when I join the channel? User has left the channel. 
current state of the channel. The channel is no longer located. Current state. Um, maybe I can say hi in every channel actually. Oh, I think that makes more sense for this bot actually. Yeah, now I see it clear. Um, so we have channels, and here we have for um, Although it's not an object, so what I'm doing is I'm not sure if, if this is right, this is probably not right, this is not properties of an object. Um, can I do this? Or is this. I'm so rusty with JavaScript right now. Can I do a for each? Or should I do a map or a. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna do what I want to do, and then we'll see. Uh, this, and what I want to do here is the channel. And say hey there. Hey guys. What's the message I want to say? This is probably not proper JavaScript, but we'll see. And and that's it. I'm gonna run. Not this way, but. But this way. Okay. Um, npm npm install again. I think I'm gonna do node app. And it's not going to be able to connect because I don't have connection. Uh, connection data. So I need to create. Second, I need to create an account. Uh, okay, node up. Let's see how it fails. Um, invalid nick. Yeah, exactly. Oh, because this is IRC. Yeah, this is IRC. Okay, um... One second, guys, I'm creating the, the account for Twitch. Username. Available. The username I want is unavailable. Hmm. It's gonna be tricky. Fissibot is unavailable. So, Fissibot or bot is available. Hmm.
Okay. Um, Nightbot is like that. Okay. Second, I'm this on the screen, but it's private data. <laughs> hmm. uh, anyway, I'm going to go to the browser because I'm gonna need um, to create a which developers uh, dev, not try level at which which second I need to open for verifying your email address okay getting a client ID request header blah 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 your account this will allow Twitch view your email address and trust with respect to you to attack created one years ago make sure you have reviewed and trust with the world law okay, I'm gonna copy this and open it in another browser where I have the bot account instead so I'm not gonna authorize that Instead of that, I'm going to go back to the documentation, copy the link, and use it somewhere else. Okay, this is not what I wanted. Um, 
Um, one second, I need to look in my browser history. I'm doing a lot of stuff that I'm not showing on screen, I'm sorry. I need to prepare a proper setup next time for coding streams. So this is today. This is still today. Um, well, didn't I sleep at all? Um, this is still today. Still today. Okay, this is yesterday. Finally, I found it. So it has to be uh, this. Finally. It's just to generate an APK. Hey, just resign. I'm coding a Twitch bot here. That's what this is. So I'm, I'm creating a, a Twitch account for the bot, and that I'm, I'm doing out of screen. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But now let's go to the code because now I finally have my key and my username. I will try not to show them a lot. Although I probably change it later after the stream, just in case people want to use this. VC. And I think this will not work, but let's try. Because I think the last line I've put is not proper JavaScript. Oh, it worked. It works. Look at that in the chat. Easy Waterbot is saying hey there. 
Hey, Metal Eagle, what's up? Okay, we have a bot that connects to the chat. I'm gonna abort and connect it again. And it's gonna say hey there again in the chat. I hope. Your message... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Your message was not sent because it is identical to the previous one you sent less than 30 seconds ago. Okay, okay. Need to wait 30 seconds. Oh, because I'm using say and not action. Maybe that's it. Anyway, 30 seconds maybe already passed. Let's try again. Hey there, yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What language is this? This is JavaScript. So I have uh, basically um, package JSON and app. So um, bot that just says hi. Uh, bot says just says hi. Connect. Okay, let's publish that to the, to the repository. And what's next? What's next? Mm. What can we do next? I have a lot of ideas for our bot, like doing polls, um, knowing where. Extracting data for our from our PC world map, um, answering questions like the weather, many 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 ideas. Let's start with something simple. Let's start with preventing swear words. Yeah, that's another idea. So for many of them, I need to listen to the chat. So on chat function, uh, let me quickly open the documentation on the events. The panis, thanks for the follow. I don't usually do coding, so if you're here for the coding, I'm sorry, but I'm usually streaming chess. Anyway, coding it is today. Um, Events, I'm on events, okay, chat event. So we have channel, user state. User state, interesting. A bot that reminds you to drink water when a certain amount of time passes. We can do that. This can be the bot. Um, okay, let me let me take note of all the ideas. <laughs> Let's do a, a small brainstorming here on the features the bot is going to have. Um, but I'm still trying to understand this user state object here because I think I, I need to use this user state object to see who sent the message. So it has some properties like message type, but it will have some others, like pro probably the nickname. Okay. So let's go to issue issues and let's put some ideas here. Okay. Detect swear words and do something. <laughs> Reprimand is not proper English, is is it? Reprimand. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, so that was one idea. Oh, this goes... Okay, new issue. This goes too slow when I'm streaming. Let me close some windows. This I don't need anymore. This I don't need anymore. Okay. Um, remind periodic uh, no periodic reminders ideas um, I actually should use the list okay, yeah um, drink water what other reminders could we have like important ones walk the dog <laughs> Okay, I'm usually playing chess, so what kind of reminder would be useful when playing chess? Hmm. Reminder to follow the channel. Uh, yeah, or announce Discord, uh, that, that sort of thing, yeah. Like, self-bragging <laughs> stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's say uh, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Discord, etc. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Um. What else? Oh yeah, I have. I really need. I really want to do this. Um, uh, I think you, most of you, were were not here the last time I do. I did coding, but the last time I did coding, I did a very short stream, and we created a month. We called it VC World, VC World Map, and some of our viewers were kind to say in which cities do they live, so they're in the map. So any anyone is welcome to to be added to. So my idea is maybe somehow the bot can retrieve this data. I can do an app. I don't know what what that could be useful for, but yeah, I know how that how that be yeah I know how that could be useful. Uh, the bot can tell me the current time of a viewer. That's what I want the bot to do. Something like that. So what time is it? What? No. Tell me. Um, some info on a specific view uh, some taken from VC uh, world map data some of that info can be taken examples What's the time for Chescudo? What's the weather for OJB? That kind of thing. That's that's gonna be sophisticated. This is gonna be a sophisticated issue, but I think I have the technology to do to do it. All right. Next idea. Maybe reminding others to play chess with you if interested. Oh, oh, that's cool because I'm always updating. Yeah, and if I have a bot for that. Okay, I'm always updating in which tournament am, am I playing. So I'm updating the tourney command. Oh, that's, that's, that's a great idea. When I'm playing a tournament, I'm always manually updating edit com ignitebot. 
edit column turning link to the tournament I need to copy and paste but actually the bot could access the Liches API and see if, if whether I'm playing a tournament or not and which which is a tournament so yeah um, show info from Liches current show let's say updated info from the chess so ideas uh, which tournament is Pepelu playing that's the one I'm going to use the most I mean, if I have the bot doing that for me oh that would be awesome then I don't need to update that anymore it would be so nice if if I can connect that to this core too. <laughs> I think I can do it, actually. Uh, because in this court you can connect. Yeah, in this court, uh, I think you can get an endpoint to publish to a channel. So I think I can probably connect to this court too. So I'm gonna add that. Uh, uh, notify this core channel journey every time the blue is playing a tournament. And what are the stuff we can? Well, from leeches we can get a lot of stuff, but some some of that stuff is is like static. Like for example, the rules of Crazy House, the rules of Chess 960, and I already have commands for that in Nightbot. But what could be not static and interesting to know? Ratings, scores. <gasps> Yeah, keeping track of the activity during a stream. Yeah. Track of activity during stream to show some stats. Something like displayed Three just nine sixty games. Something like that. Um, and the scores, of course, two, one, oh, stuff like that. You play chess and programming in Java. Good. You learn to program in Java at university, or you learn by yourself. Well, first of all, I'm. I'm not using Java for this one if you <laughs> if that's what you mean. I'm I'm using JavaScript, which has absolutely nothing to do with Java. Even <laughs> yeah, names are similar but it has nothing to do. Uh, I learned coding before before university. And it was my main hobby before university. Uh, then I wanted to study something really different from that, but by affairs of life, I ended up studying it. So, um, so yeah, I learned before, but then of course I learned many, many more languages. And so. Okay. Hmm. What other ideas could we? What's the simplest of all of this? The periodic reminders, maybe. It's the simplest. Or the text swear word. The text swear words are uh, probably the easiest. So I'm gonna start with that one. <laughs> so now that you're here and, and, and you will be able to test this, you, you, you can say bad words in the chat. <laughs> but first, I need to. Okay, this is not it. This is it. Um, okay, user state objects. User state object. I need to see the documentation of that. Uh, examples, functions, or API functions.
get username? No. Configuration, maybe? Configuration, yeah, it has the objects. Or not. Nope. Examples? Uh, okay, chatbot guide in the Twitch documentation, probably not what I'm intending. Probably not. Or maybe yes, because it uses TMI, okay. Message and connected on message handler, target context. Oh, it's on message, no, not on chat. Anyway, it does nothing with the username. Ay, ay, ay. Full example. Somewhat outdated. Uh, in the browser, so it. It's a gist, so I can see the code. Let's have a look. User dot username. Handle chat. Let's see where handle chat is used. Uh, here on message, not on chat. I, I could do. You know what? I think I finish earlier, but by just printing it. <laughs> Function. Uh, so I'm gonna receive according to the documentation that I need to go back to. Uh, it was channel, user state, message, and something else. I think. Events. I'm sorry, I'm showing the, the terminal now, but I want to go back and forth every time. Uh, yeah, channel user state. Okay. Channel user state. Um, message and self. Okay, and I'm going to console load uh, user state. I'll see you, the punnies, why beam over something else? Uh, because, yeah, why not? Um, okay, let me abort and run again. He's gonna say hey there in the chat after connect. Yeah, let me see what the bot is back here. And, okay, the, the, the state says emotes new message time chat. It does not say anything about... Okay, let me type something here. Oh yeah, that's that's another thing. A lot of, lot, lot of information here he gets. Um, wow, I can get... <laughs> yeah, now the science got... Uh, user ID, blah blah blah, I have timestamps. That's cool. That's cool. And I have display name. I think I'm gonna use display name. Yeah. Okay, let's abort and display name. So this is the username. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, and let me oh, so let's detect some bad words, alright? So bar uh, swear words. Uh, what are some bad words? Let's say fuck. It's gonna be one of them. <laughs> um, tell me some bad words. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. Um, I will admit any word, to be honest. Um, N word is bad. What's the N word? Nigger? Is that the N word? Um, what about moron? It's not so bad. I'm gonna use those three just to start with. Um, so I'm gonna take the message, I'm gonna split words. I'm gonna Oopsie. I'm gonna map each word to lowercase and then I'm going to see if some If some of them verifies that swear words includes that word, right? And if all that happens, I'm gonna say something. So, um, yeah, now I don't like it names work or words for this. I'm gonna say bad words. And uh, what I'm going to do is client say um, let's put that there. say in that channel um, So the nickname, the display name has no at in front. So I need to add that. Oh, we have username also, not just display name, but also username. I guess it doesn't matter which one I use, right? Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna say username. Oh yeah, with the at in front. Uh, no, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Let's do that. Simple. Let's connect again. Nope. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I see. I see the syntax mistake there. Okay, let's try. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. 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 Yeah, Nightbot also responds to to that word. <laughs> to that specific one. Uh, Uh, Fizzy Waterbot wanted to send Rrrrpepalu again, but the message was not sent because it's identical to the previous one less than 30 seconds ago. Hmm. What happens if they keep spamming bad words? Yeah. 
that's why I I mean the bot can bang. Oh maybe it cannot unless I do this. Wait, 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 wait. Haha. -ha. I know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take this user and I'm gonna give him uh da 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 moderator permissions if I find the way. <laughs> Add friend, okay, let's add as a friend. That, that's okay, but not what I wanted to do. Permit, it's not permit. Mm -hmm. Block report, no. Okay, I think I can use the command for this. Slash mod uh, fizzy water mod. Yes. Night has moderation permission, so maybe. Maybe now he doesn't have the 30 seconds issue? Maybe. Let's try. Yes, perfect. And also now it can bang people, so I can count strikes. <laughs> I can, I can count strikes. I think I'm gonna do that. Count strikes for for people. Uh, but it's it, it it will be funny when I <laughs> test this and I bang myself. <laughs> <laughs> with the my bot. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. We need to add some, some regular expressions or something like that. But yeah, this is an MVP. This is a basic um, first step. I want to first develop the functionality and, and then uh, hone, polish, you know, the, the, the precision of, of the detected words. Um, okay, so I'm gonna count the strikes. And okay, this is gonna be a strike for for username. Let's see the strikes of username. The actual value. Mm. Okay, never mind. Let's just. I feel like I'm doing a very terrible code, but never mind. I'll refactor it later. So, I think I'm counting strikes now. Hey, Beth. Hey there. Hey. Hey, bot. You're a bit more, aren't you? Oh, okay. Uh, my 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 <laughs> yeah. My, my regular expression is terrible. Uh, with the comma, with the column, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't work. Okay. Oh! 
Oh, look at that. Now we're now we're dealing with Twitch API because I see here uh, what what the bots received was okay okay asterisk asterisk asterisk. So <laughs> some words are previously filtered by Twitch. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I guess that's unfortunate for the bot to properly moderate. Um, on the other hand, if it receives three asterisks, chances are he said a bad word. Yeah, but I cannot, I cannot count that as a, as a strike. Okay, never mind. So we have a count of strikes. Perfect. And uh, next step is ban someone with so It's just a mount. You'd be timed out uh, as of your with with three strikes, let's say. Um, strikes. You'll be bad. you'll be timed out. Alright, and so if but oh, did the music stop or not? No, it's it's just silent. Okay. Um. So if strikes um, three less than three, we do this. Else we do that. So if, if less than three, we do this. If if it's three. You are timed out. And now I need to do a timeout. Uh, or maybe just a timeout. Yeah, I don't say anything. No, it's better to, to, to be clear in the chat why we timeout. Okay, and now. I will do this, you know, reset the count for after the timeout, and I will see how to do a timeout. So commands. Channel username Millis. No, seconds and reason. <gasps> we can use a reason. Oh, that's that's nice. Copy. So, channel, we have it. Username, we have it. I'm gonna do one one second because I'm gonna test against myself and reason um, using 
bad words. Okay, let's try this. With three strikes, you'll be timed out. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, uh, <laughs> it really worked, but what, what we can see here is you cannot time out the broadcaster. You cannot time out the broadcaster, so there was, there was a, a problem there. Hey, Gentas, thanks. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Um, let me let me see if it resets. Anyway, my my counter. Yes, it's strike number one. Because uh, even though it fails, yeah, the code ran perfectly. Okay, perfect. So now instead of one second, uh, I'll do more. I'm gonna put some some options like here in the beginning. I don't even know why I'm watching this. I have no idea how coding works. <laughs> but this at least uh, it's interactive with the chat, so I expect it to be <laughs> slightly better than other coding streams I've been doing in the past. How long does the strikes last for? Well, in this case, I'm timeout. The timeout was one second, but I'm gonna select another random number. So let's say bad words, timeout, seconds. Um, so when someone says but insists in saying bad words, it's gonna be timed out for I don't know a minute. Maybe it could be even increasing. Like okay, this is your second timeout, so it's gonna be more. Oh no! If you get one strike, does that strike have a time limit? No time limit. It's for the stream because I, I plan on resetting everything when a stream starts. You mean if the strikes res reset, say if you leave the stream? If you leave the stream, no. If I leave the stream, if the bot leaves the stream, yes. Uh, I'm using JavaScript, Metal. Yeah, the bot basically... Uh, I'm running it in my local machine, so I plan on running it whenever I start a stream, for example. It takes nothing, it's just opening it, running node. Um, but in the future it might have sense to, to have it in an external server, so it's always there in the chat. In that case, uh, yeah, I need to reset these strikes after some time, I guess. Because otherwise you need to get to the third strike to, <laughs> to reset it. In ECMAScript 6 or 5, uh, 6 I guess. Does it work on joint words? No, 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 it doesn't. And no, I, I will improve that later. First, I want to develop the functionality, and then I'm gonna refine that part of detecting, detecting bad words. Um, so, okay, let's say a minute or five minutes. 
I mean, it's not a big deal when someone says bad words. So, a couple of minutes, let's say. Um, so, here instead of one, I'm going to say a couple of minutes. All right, righty, all righty. Um, and now I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna rerun the bots again. So now, please don't say bad words because you're gonna be timed out for two minutes. <laughs> okay, mm. but we we already know it works, so it's fine. Um, now detecting detecting better bad bad words. Okay, we know nigger. We cannot we we can never detect this one. So I'm gonna remove that that word because. There's no point in that. Um, now, at least I should... I should split... Not just with spaces, but also with commas. Actually removing any punctuation sign. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So, let me... Again, put this in a readable way. I think I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah. So I'm splitting the message with spaces. Then I'm I'm putting lowercase. Just a way of can, yeah of having canonical word representation. Uh, and then I'm checking if if some of them is a bad word. But I think for a canonical representation of words, I should just remove from the original message any any character that that is not um, something from A to Zeta, basically. I don't know. You can use zero instead of O and stuff like that. But that's for the next version, I think. I mean, at least I want. I wanted to recognize this, and it's not now. Uh, it's not gonna recognize this. Hey, Sir Pintal, yeah. So at least I want to recognize this or or this, but because there's a com colon or an exclamation mark, it's not recognizing it. But uh, it's just as simple as removing all of them. I think. So message um, Yeah science god I mean <laughs> That's different that's just adding more words here <laughs> basically more versions of the same word like for example this um, <laughs> I can do that <laughs> But I can also... But you wouldn't want wait to recognize the word analyze. Doesn't seem practical. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, it is practical. Because I don't have to code anything. It was very practical. I, I already did. <laughs> very fast. And I don't mind having a big array here. Um, but, for example, what about stuff like this? For this, or this, um, these variants. Okay, I can do some regex there, but yeah, two Fs. <laughs> okay, I don't think anyone is going to use that that specific form of the word, but anyway. Uh, what I was going to do is removing any character that is not in the range. If you split on the spaces, you can save. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can say that. Um, what's the best way to remove characters in JavaScript?
You cannot censor everything. That's that would lead to a mess. Mm, also that. Yeah, that's why I don't want to to censor words that contain the bad word. Like for example, factart. Someone said factart. Okay, I might add factart specifically to the list, but I will not say anything containing fuck. I will. Um, I will censor no, because I don't know. Maybe it makes sense. Some word, some not bad word that contains that. Analyze is a good example for that because it contains anal, right? <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, I can maybe do this. And this, and in the middle, filter, right? Filter. I don't know if this is good JavaScript anyway. sure about this that I did. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe I need to start doing some tests because it's already complex. Yeah, and handle promise. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Ab abort. And handle it. It's not defined. What? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, let's run again. I did something wrong. How long have you been coding? I started last year making a game that moment apply for to something. I've been coding for more than twenty years. Half a life. More than half of my life. <laughs> okay, um, Twenty, yeah, twenty-one years. Twenty-one, yeah. <laughs> Almost as old as me. Yeah, but I'm old, man. I'm old. Okay, um, I might need to do some testing here. So what I'm doing makes sense. Oh, maybe I can do some a couple of console logs. <laughs> we'll we'll do the trick. Don't try this at home, guys. It's much better to do unit testing. But I'm kind of lazy today. That's older than me. Who <laughs> are? Um, I want to join again. So this is what I have before splitting in spaces.
Oh, I see. I see my, my mistake already. I removed the spaces. <laughs> Simple. 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 What kind of game are you making? Good question. Good question. Actually, I want to do a, a game too on the stream. I kind of want to do a, an open source game um, that can be played online, you know, like for the viewers. Not very complex, probably, like from a graphics point of view. I mean, yeah, we could do it complex. Nothing wrong with that. But what functionality first? Okay. Let's run it now. I think I don't need the console log anymore. Um, yeah, it will work now. Hmm. Hmm. So it's printing what ha what it has to print, but it's not working. Oh. That's the problem when you do console logs, man. I fixed the console log, I didn't fix the code. Okay. Ironic that you're watching the stream right now, trying to ban bad words, lol. Why? Why is it ironic? Yes, haha. You could do a game that followers can play in chat via bots. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> that's easy, right? Oh, that's another good idea. Why not? Like a role-play game. How about that? Let's go back to GitHub for a second. New issue. I'd be interested in a stream like that. I tried picking up learning coding more than a couple of times to learn how to code and always failed horribly. Okay. Uh, Chat games. Chat games. Just chat games. I think that's the best explanation for what, what I want to do. Um, let's put some ideas. Well, uh, viewers could play some games with the bot. Some ideas. Um, guess the number. <laughs> Let's put that. I mean, it could even play chess blindfolded. Save the princess. Always a good idea. But is that a game? Is that a like a game you play with words? Okay, I'm thinking about some roleplay stories. Like, you know, the bot being, yeah, roll a hundred and save the princess from the bot. What about that could play chess? Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm thinking some roleplay stories, like, um, the, the bot would be the master and it, it would be giving options to the players. But okay, that's just one, one idea. Um, just random random uh, giveaways? No, how do you say this? When you do. Uh, when you randomly pick a winner, what's the word in English for that? Because I, <laughs> I know the word that I can't remember. Um, I'm joking, by the way, that's the worst idea ever I proposed. <laughs> okay. Polls for votes. Uh -huh. Would less viewers play Hand and Rain with you? Oh! Oh, I like that, but I think that's probably different from chat games. But I I'm gonna add a new issue separately for that, because I love that idea. Because I have the idea to add another issue that I didn't add yet on just polls, do polls. Ideally, it's a game that can go on for quite some time and doesn't take over the whole chat. Uh, 
How about riddles? Yeah. Riddles. Oh, I love what uh, the great Todman does. It has questions. If, if you don't know him, by the way, shout out to the great Todman. I might be misspelling his name. <laughs> um, he, yeah, he plays old-fashioned uh, video games, and he has a bot that keeps asking questions, uh, just nerd questions on video games history. So you get you get points if you if you say the proper answer if you are the first to say the answer. You mentioned role playing, so like some sort of persistent world that can we can actually interact with. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea, but just in the chat, so the bot will. I mean, I'll probably need some help from some writers. I can write a story, but. Um, yeah, we will need a lot of texts, and the bot will will just follow the story somehow and narrate it. Are you going to connect a bot to work with a chess side that plays moves, and viewers can send moves to the bot that plays against you on the chess side? <laughs> okay, maybe we're overthinking this, but yeah, we could do that. Uh, we can use the Lynch's API, but I'm not sure if we can do moves, probably not. Oh, well, if we create a bot, yeah, we, we could create a bot, a Lynch's bot representation of our bot, hmm. and send moves there. But the UCI format, that, that will take a while. I, I think I would probably put that in a different issue, not in this one. This is just chat games. Uh, I would keep it just in the chat. <laughs> something the bot can do by itself. So I think I'm missing to, to write something here. And before you make the next Final Fantasy from thinking of a bot game. Um, so I've put riddles, yeah. Okay, just trivia. Yeah, just trivia. That's that's what I meant when I when I talked about the Great Talman. Just trivia. Riddles is a specific type of trivia, I think. Um, crowdsource the move to play against weapon. Okay, these are the ideas. Now I'm gonna add that other issue about uh, hand and brain and the pulse thing too. So name issue. Uh, first pulse, just pulse. Um, uh, start a poll with a command and take the viewers answers and show results example oh actually this means, means something on github so let me <laughs> remove this um, Start small, yeah. Uh, Exclaim poll. What should we do next? Slash uh, and ring slash uh, crazy house arena. Then the fishy water bot will say. Um, Hey everyone, here's the poll. <laughs> or something like that. Type your answer in the chat. And something like this. Hmm. Hmm. 
Something like that. Better. I want to make it clear. I don't know. Um. With some quotation there too. And then people would vote, so random viewer would say one. <laughs> and finally, someone, probably me, maybe only me, will say end poll. Actually, I probably don't need to, to use the quotation. Yeah, that's that's the biggest problem I'm having here. Now this is going to be clearer. Yeah, it would start creating different bots that have specific purposes and could feature their own games. Uh, yeah, but I want to create a bot that can be that can do all that stuff and use it for some specific stuff, like conf, conf, cust, customizable. That's word. Whoa! Surfintal just subscribed! Oh man, thanks for the subscription! Wow, look at that! Uh, I hope you like chess, <laughs> because the perks we have now for subscribers uh, are chess-related. <laughs> uh, we might change that. Oh, that was a random one, sorry. I, I wanted the sub one perk. Uh, you also have the emote, yeah. <laughs> Maybe other bots can connect them together as if they were services for more complicated games. Yeah, I want to do a one oh, your chess player, good. Um, yeah, I want to add a, uh, create a bot that can do different stuff and it's customizable and and it's just open source on GitHub because it already is from the first commit, so everybody can use it, their own versions. Mine is probably going to do everything at the same time. <laughs> My version. Uh, okay, and finally, the bot will say. Ball closed. Winner option. Hand and brain with three votes out of with no with seventy five percent of the votes. Something like that. Okay, I have a full working example there of what I want to do with these polls. Submit issue. Yeah, I understand one bot, but I have different service functions within it. Yeah, it's... I mean, I could, I could, for example, um, with this, I can create different instances later. So, I have a generic bot. It's a single project, single uh, open source project. And then I can create an instance that only, let's call it bad words bot <laughs> on, on Twitch, and it only does that. And then another that is roleplay x bot, and it only does that. Those are different instances of this open source project. Um, oh, this one. So did I read from the night, but correctly, that I get to have a 10 game match with you? Not now, of course. Uh, yeah, you read correctly. We've done some already previously. If you if you want to check out, they're probably published on YouTube. <laughs> I would need to find, I would need to find them, but yeah, I've published the videos on the Two, I think two viewers, two subscribers, um, took that perk. 
colder of an enchanted colder colder raven enchanted thanks for the follow man hope you like the stream although I don't usually code on the stream <laughs> okay I wanted a new issue before I before I forget um, this issue was besides the poles there was a specific type of pole which was the hand and brain one okay let's add this one hand and brain with all in the chat 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 yeah uh, we could probably do that based on the poles uh, system but ideally ideally um questy quest thanks for the follow mate you're about 1500 online 1600 uscf i don't know how uscf works i don't know the, the equivalence to other ratings but uh, it's cool man um but ideally without having to type ball and <laughs> and all each move of course um, maybe some time span available per move for example and the options are going to be the name the name of the pieces of course okay I understand what hand and ring is so I think I don't need to explain this issue more. What else? Hey Kaito! Oh yeah, science and technology because I didn't find any category like programming or coding or code or software development. So I didn't know. Uh, Twitch kept suggesting science and technology to me. I don't think it fits very well. I need to I need to check other coders streams to to find the category, but I, I if I remember correctly, they, they use science and technology, which is very, very weird too. Um, it's tech, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, we can go back to the coding um, or to the issue we were doing, which was the first one, detect swear words and do something. We did this, we sort of did this, I I I'm gonna comment this. We will actually um, time out instead of buying for the moment. And we already coded that, so so I feel comfortable with with saying this specific feature is done at least version one of this feature. Um, So, uh, detect, well, moderate, let's say just moderate, moderate bad words, detect uh, users who say bad words and count strikes for them uh, after third strike times out. And counts yeah let's use the text uh, times out uh, user for two minutes and that's what it does right now it push origin actually I shouldn't be working master um, but yeah but words vibration uh, Ratio. 
Oh, I come it. Yeah, and it, master, I should reset to <laughs> because that commit sh not doesn't belong in master yet. Uh, well, actually, for reading master that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I did push master. Master, yeah. You know what? This because this is going to be open source right now. I'm going to avoid any commits to masters. To masters. So branch protection rules. Add rule. Master of puppets. Yeah. Master. Uh, protects require pull request reviews. Hmm. Require status checks. No. Sign commits to administrators. I'm not sure about the reviews. Now let's say no. Not for now. Let's not. Let's not decide to put solutions before we have the problems. <laughs> How are you doing, Kaito? Are you gonna stream? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna create the pull, the pull request, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna add a comment here. Fixes. Uh, I think it's slash one. Detects for words and do something. Yeah, fixes one. Um, I'm gonna sign myself. Great. Oh, Nightbot doesn't like you spamming caps. Maybe our PC bot shouldn't like that either. Huh. Never mind. Uh, da, 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 da. What's next? Do I have an easy issue? We can do polls, chat games, show updated info from Lee Chess, like which tournament am I playing? That would be neat. Ah, if I can do that, that would be. Periodic reminders, we could do that too. Hmm. What's the easiest? You can see periodic reminders, yeah. Periodic re reminders is the last one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six ideas. Which one do you like to do? I think I'm going to do one more and call it a day. Hmm. The hand and brain thing is, is, is out of the question because I need to do the pulse things first, I think. says anything okay no ideas should I should I do the polls things and then ask you with a poll hmm. periodic reminders that's an easy one yes yes what <laughs> yes what I think the pool thing is uh, the most useful to start. Okay, the pulse. Okay. 
uh, it's a good one because it's interacting with 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 people in the chat so so I guess it's it's a cool one to do okay so I'm gonna stick to the plot uh, I'm gonna have a command to start the poll and another one to end the poll and the only question is do we have different polls at the same time then the end poll command should should do something different. I think I wouldn't go there. I think uh, I will start with just one poll at the same time. Poll functionality can be used in various other games, probably. Uh, well, it's just polls. I, th I think every streamer at some point of the stream has the necessity to do polls with, with their viewers. And I mean, there are tools there out there, <laughs> as Kaito. Kaito knows. There are tools out there to do polls. It's just something that is fine to do with a bot be one one poll yeah yeah so for example if if um, if i do end poll without a poll going on it will say something if i do poll with a poll going on it will say something it's like a multiple choice input that could be used for other purposes Yeah, yeah, you can use it for, for games. Um, by the way, I'm thinking another issue that I th I want to do now that we're creating some functionality. Um, nah, let's not do it. Let's not do it. I, I will try to put that in the back of my mind and do it at some point. I want to do some testing here, some unit testing, because, yeah, developing this. I can tell I'm going to do three or four ifs here. <laughs> Probably will want more than one simultaneous poll eventually. Yeah, and I'm thinking at some point when I type end poll, the poll itself, uh, the bot itself will ask me which poll do you want to finish? One, this poll. Two, this poll. Three, this poll. Type your answer. He's gonna poll me to end the poll. But yeah, for now. On the other hand, doing polls simultaneously is is not for the people to answer. Because the, the good thing about one about viewers answering with one and two is that it's very easy for them to answer. Uh, but if there are two polls simultaneously, you, you cannot tell which of them are they answering to. So I don't I see some problems. <laughs> so some, some problems there. Okay, never mind. Let's do one simultaneous poll. I mean, not simultaneous, one, one poll. Just one, one poll at a time. Okay. Uh, we're in master. Polls. Yeah, I need indication, which, which we might actually do a uh, like an easy system, like if the the answers are numbers, the polls could be letters. So you can say A1 or C3, I mean B3 or like poll, poll B, answer 3, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's just start with one poll at a time. One poll at a time. Um, sorry for <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. I, I, I got it. Um, okay. I, I, I guess I need to refactor something here. Um, I probably need to add just a level of abstraction at some point.
<laughs> nice placeholder things. <laughs> I'll, I'll need to add a level of abstraction at some point to be comfortable with myself. But for the moment I'm gonna do just a list of different functions. And eventually I will create an array of commands specifications or something like that. But for the moment, um, let's do this and mm, let's put the function somewhere. Um, so I have bad words there, I have bad words strikes. Let's put it there. I, I will need to do modules also. Um, anyway. Uh, now, of course, I need message. I need... <clears throat> username. So let's say username. I think I need channel because... and client. Because I use client and do things in the channel. Okay. I already don't like... I already dislike how I'm doing this. Oh. Uh, so client channel is name message. Client channel is name message. Okay, so far just a quick test. I'm just starting to see that uh, this is working. Hey, but you're a moron. Okay, it is working. Let's. <laughs> so this refactor worked. Um, I'm gonna just. Is that the mic or is that the keyboard really loud? Oh, the keyboard is loud. The keyboard is a mechanical keyboard. Uh, I, I like it there. <laughs> I like it like that. But it might be too loud. Sorry. Um, oh, what am I doing here exactly? Okay, this time is... Um, Right. Okay, and now I'm going to handle, this is the new functionality, I'm going to handle, uh, what were we doing? Ah, polls. Handle poll with the same parameters, which I already, I'm already hating. <laughs> okay, I will need another refactor at some point, very soon. Um, okay, but you can still hear me, right? Can hear my voice despite the music and the keyboard. Hey Gold Leech King, how you doing? So handle poll and we're gonna have some so we had bad words there, we had bad words strikes. At some point I need to strike this stuff to modules, but let's... Pull, 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 pull. Um, Username equals channel, 
That means because I want the poll to be created only by the broadcaster, but the broadcaster has the name of the channel, right? Is this a terrible assumption? Um, because I want to verify if a message when I see multiple functions with the same parameters yeah 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 composite pattern composite mm. okay I give you that yeah I give you that I think I'm just not uh, yeah okay I give you that uh, okay I, I am disliking a lot this equality here but let's start with that which is the simplest implementation um, Okay, so I'm gonna check whether okay, I, I get if this current yeah the, the escape plus because if we're not running a poll if we're not running a poll I need to do this <laughs> yeah. And oh, and otherwise we need to check the rest, which is the end poll command and any other user saying any other thing. So any other user? No, the the username channel also. And also both. So yeah, any any user saying anything here? Okay. So first things first. If we're not in a poll, but the message starts with poll, Pepe starts with poll. Um, should I do a substring or? Do pause timeout? Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. That's a good question. That's a good question. I guess they should. But it's not the end of the world if they don't. Uh, loud keyboard helps prevent repetitive motion injuries due to audio feedback. Won't press keys too hard, I think. Um, cool. It's not the reason I like it. <laughs> I like the sound. Um, So anyway, substring. Uh, uh, does it include end? Not including end. Okay, so five. Oh, what did I do? Okay. B1 is manual ending of Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I should. No, I want to store the answers. Okay, yeah. Uh, Paul's current uh, equals. And now I need to split. So I've put some idea. 
that my, may or may not be good, but it's the one I'm going to implement first. Um, here, when I said, Paul, what should we do next? And I put slashes to, to separate the question and the answers. And I'm gonna use that because Okay, at some point I might want to include a slash in <laughs> in one of the answers or the question itself. Then I will need another to be able to pick a different character at least. Um, for the moment I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use slashes for this. I think it's fine. Alright, so let's do that. Let's take um, What storage is available? Is it local or AWS or what? Now I'm developing, so it's local so far, but it's going to be probably in Amazon at some point. Um, okay, so five should be the rest of or alternatively I could remove the first word after splitting with spaces now um, okay by the way this is um, a trim function. <laughs> I'm so rusty with, with JavaScript, but I assume there's a trim function for strings. So, um, the first one in poll data is the question, and the answers... Well, I don't really need to... No, yeah, I can do that. Instead of this, I could probably do a pop. Pop in JavaScript array. No, it's not a pop, it's an unshift. Okay, let's ask Google. JavaScript pop from array first. It's pop and push. And isn't there also shift and unshift? Like from the other side of the... Actually shift is what Google suggests. Because I think pop and push might be from the end of the, of the array instead of the beginning. I definitely want to do from the beginning right now. Um, shift removes the first. So it's shift. What I want what I want to use I think. and pop let me see here pop is gonna be from the end I guess removes the last element yeah so I want shift here not unshift but shift which makes sense because that's how shift works um, typically okay so shift oh sorry I'm not sharing that Okay, therefore, the answers are going to be the rest. Um, yeah. So far, so good. So, um, according to our issue, 
the PC Waterbot has to say four lines in the chat. So let's say four lines after creating the poll. Say, 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 this. <coughs> Client say uh, channel. And what we put in the issue was this. Oh, it's not four lines, actually. It's, it depends on the number of answers. So, first one hey, everyone, here's the poll. Maybe I can maybe I can improve that message. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe I can improve that message. Hey. Hey everyone. Here's a new poll for you. And some some emote. What's a good emote for this? Oh, purple water. One of our emotes, why not? Oh, wait, but this bot is not subscribed. <laughs> so, okay. Um, no, let's use one of the standard emotes. What emote goes well with a question? goes well with a question, guys. Seems good. Pogchamp. Pogchamp, maybe. I like that one, TVC. Fire. That's fire. Yay, nay. Oh, that's. Ooh, but that's. That's cool for yes or no polls. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should do a variant with just answers yes or no. Mm. Y and N. Yeah, that would be. Could be, could be cool. Uh, Kappa, hence Kappa. No, I like the fire. I think, especially saying a hot new poll, especially with that wording. Curse lit, curse lit. Okay. Here's a hot new poll for you. Curse. And yeah, I like I like what you're doing. I like this and not hey everyone. I like that TBC, thank you. And now let's let's um, do what should we do next? No, this is the poll current. By the way, why do I say current? In, uh, if, if I'm gonna... Okay, first of all. <laughs> this is gonna be current poll. And current is gonna be question. Let's rename the same wording here. And it's gonna have answers. Current poll question, current poll answers. And I'm saying that current poll question is null when there's no poll. But yeah, maybe just uh, an active, an active thing could be better.
I like it better. If it's not active, um, we're gonna add stuff and and uh, put it active. I like this better. And we all we know whenever a poll is active, it will have question and answer. So I don't need to initialize those values. Um, so this is question. Okay, type your answer in the chat. Um, and then I need to look the answers. Uh, and it worked the for each I did in the bottom. So it did work the for each I did here. So it seems to work the for each, which was unexpected by me. <laughs> for each. I don't have a, a new now anymore, guys. <laughs> I don't have to check that. Um, say in channel type. We should have numbers now. We should have numbers. Actually, uh, that should be an array. It, it, it is an array. So I could do. <laughs> okay, let's do procedure, guys. Let's do. No. I don't want to do a loop. You could perhaps use Unicode to change the actual font in the Twitch chat. So people can easily find the bot message if the chat happens to be moving fast. Or you could just change the color of the font. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I get what you mean, but to be honest, polls are are going to happen in a moment where the streamer is going to be asking for interaction like, hey guys, I mean, the streamer will type poll, the question, if people is following the, the stream, I don't think. I don't think we need to to like steal the attention of the people. I don't know. I like the fire. Um, okay, I cannot think anymore, guys. It's been a long day. Don't don't blame me for this look. a hot new poll. <laughs> Oof, that. Tough to, tough to read, I think. Should be good if the bot puts a couple of lines. Oh yeah, we could add uh, some symbols uh, before and after. And or maybe just like that color of an enchanted art. Yeah, it doesn't look, doesn't read well, but it's it's almost almost great, <laughs> isn't it? Um, but maybe just hot new poll instead of putting here is a hot new poll. Maybe just hot new poll. 
and without the exclam. I think I can copy probably your Unicode there. Let me try. Yeah. Thanks, TVC. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I should know that. I should know that. I'm just too tired. It's been a long day. I still need to work a little, and it's 2 a.m. already. No, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna get up early tomorrow to work. I cannot do anything else today. Um, uh, so this is okay, and this is just the, the element. Actually, in this case, I'm gonna gonna be kind person I'm gonna be gentle and I'm gonna put a good name you just have to experiment with different fonts yeah but okay I like the idea so for the moment let's try that okay type blah for answer bar and now what one more for fun okay let me see Oof, da. <laughs> with the octopus <laughs> Okay, that's funny. That one is funny, but I think I, li I like more the, the, the fire and big letters. I like them more. Um, so, uh, how to finish Pulse? Well, obviously, if I'm the one writing, typing end poll, and the message is end poll. It's gonna be false, and that's it. Well, it's not it. I will have to print the results of the poll. But in the meantime, if anyone types votes, I need to. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to have maybe one octopus if you decide to add later. <laughs> okay, I need to check that the message is one allow mods to create polls. Uh, <laughs> good point, CPC. Okay, so for the rest of the cases I need to check that the, the message is just one, two, up to the number of options, and ignore the rest of the messages. Hey Roman, what's up? So, um... About to create a complex object for the answers, and that way the code could be simplified. But I'm not sure, I mean, it's like you know, the index is just the index, it shouldn't be that difficult. Didn't do anything so far. 
um, what was I going to, to do? Oh, can I put a knee here? Okay, so. I'm too rusty in JavaScript, I might be doing something wrong here. Uh, what I want to do is if message is this, but I don't know if I have to do like this or if this is like too much. I'm too, I'm too tired. <laughs> you you know what I want to do. I'm, I'm looping over the lazy enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm looping over the possible answers and checking the message is one of them. And only in that case, in any other case, I will ignore. And in this case, I will take current poll dot votes uh, of the user. The user is username, I think. Je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends. I think you're missing an, an N and the D. I think I don't know French, so don't 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 listen to it. Um, uh, what what was I going to do? Um, merci, <laughs> merci beaucoup, rien, de rien. So current poll votes username. Uh, equals just just this just this and should I take the number it is better to store the number right than the than the option I, I don't know what's but anyway this is gonna overwrite so if, if any user votes twice or more the last value will will be there right is that it <laughs> I'm counting the votes properly here maybe yeah I'm not sure about this this block of code here uh, rusty with this Miosh hey thanks for the follow um Okay, and now when the poll is finished, test it in browser. Uh, good point. No, I will test it here in the chat. No problems. <laughs> uh, and then when end poll. Okay, I'm gonna test it on the here. I'm gonna just print the whole object. Random bars incoming. <laughs> Probably. Um, I'm gonna console log here. Not sure what you're trying to do there with that code block. I'm not sure either. <laughs> I don't like the if actually. Maybe I should just forget this notation and just do this. What about what about that? I would be more comfortable with this, but I'm not sure if if the other worked. Uh, no, this was okay. I'm, I'm more comfortable with this. Um, no difference. Okay. Okay, I trust you, TBC. I, I need to, I need to learn to use this. Um, I wasn't sure about these brackets here, but okay. If if there was a way to do it, uh, this is the one. I, I, th I think it's intuitive, so let's let's keep it. Okay. Um,
so I'm gonna take current poll votes I'm gonna do this for username because this is an object uh, in current poll votes this is gonna be a console log that I will see in the in the terminal I'm going to see um, username voted um, oh come on But still, I'm going to trust that it's going to work, and I'm gonna finish the code before testing on the chat. So now, what we should print is poll closed, winner option. Let me copy this line, and we might do some fancy, fancy emails too. Uh, we're, what we're going to do is client say um, channel. Uh, all closed winner option uh, dot answers something And that. Okay, so winner. Um, what if there's a tie? Move that. <laughs> what if no one votes? Oh my goodness. This is why I needed unit testing. Now I need several scenarios to, to cover. <laughs> okay, let's make the simplest, the simplest implementation, which is uh, if equal number of votes, I pick the first one. <laughs> Even if the number of votes is zero. <laughs> hmm. But I don't like it. Divide by zero, crash if no response. Yeah. Ah, the percentage you say. Yeah. I, I'm already struggling to 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 determine the winner. I'm not even thinking about the percentage. Tie goes to the streamer. That's a good one. That's a, a logic I want to code. The problem is the streamer might have not voted. But I can just say, I mean the bot can just say, no winners. There's no one that has more votes than the rest. He could say that. Actually the bot could just... You know what? First, I'm going to just post all results. Yeah, yeah, exactly what TVC is saying now. I will post all the results. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't even need to say who won. I can just say poll closed and 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 put uh, one line per answer, one one line per option. Something like this, and. Now I need to do... well, I need to count. That's true. I need to count. Uh, current poll dot answers for each answer. I need the index. Okay. Uh, 
what is this? Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna put first the percentage or what? Um, okay, I'm gonna do this and I will calculate because I have a um, uh, an if to do there. If the amount, the total amount of votes is zero, I'm gonna put zero percent every option. And otherwise, I will do the the, cal the calculation. You could perhaps automatically cast a vote for everyone in the chat, whether they participate or not. One participant vote will go a no answer option. Okay, that's another kind of poll. It's not the one I'm used to though in the streams. Because, yeah, we usually want polls just like to decide what to do next, so we mind only the people that really answers. <laughs> it's not like um, trying to represent this easily understandable without having to do calculations. Okay, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I'm too tired, let's move on and finish this. Uh, so, let's say... 100 and then type the option. Uh, answer. Let's say that, for example. And, let's calculate the percentage. So, percentage is going to be... Actually, I like what you use, percent. <laughs> um, percent is in case of current all the votes equals zero. It's going to be zero. Otherwise, it's going to be a number. Uh, so let me just initialize that just in case. Uh, votes, an empty array, right? It's a, is it an empty array? Oh no, it's an object. It is an object. Oh no. Why did I do a, an object? Just to index it with the name, yeah. Oh, sorting them. Yeah, sorting them is good. Oh, you mean like I can... Yeah, I can create a, an object with the answers. That makes more sense. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Let's prepare what I'm going to print. So, let's say results you can aggregate at the end of the poll yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here I think uh, yeah, I want to map that to, a, to to the aggregated object, which will have um, this is what I'm confused about with with the notation because now I want to use brackets like for an object because I want the function to return that object, and I don't know if I'm doing it right. Now. need to review my JavaScript. Anyway, what I want to do is uh, have a percentage and uh, the text itself. 
aren't just Actually, I can do something different now that I'm thinking. Ah, uh, my head. Mm. I'm thinking of doing a totally different thing, which is uh, looping on the votes, not on the answers. Um, Uh, anyway, let's 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 do this. Um, uh, volts filter and then length. Yeah, I like that. Um, let me just do something. If, if current poll votes is going to be empty, because it is going to be empty, uh, and if no one voted, if no one voted, which I could do also with a flag, because if no one voted, we never, we never entered. Um, if no one voted, we never entered this. So that would be another option with a flag, but I think if no one voted, I can just check if votes is empty. So, what I wanted to do is... Um, can I do this? I'm sure there's other ways to do it. Uh, so I want to do... Um, I have the username and the value, and the value is the number. So if the number... Yeah, if, if, if the value is the index plus one... But then I should... I think I should divide by the number of. Um, I should divide this by the number, the total amount of votes. So. Okay, that's it. No! Go there. Oh, the problem is votes is not an array, again, it's not an array, it's an object, so I cannot do filter, and I cannot do length. Hey, Jim. Uh, this is JavaScript, Jim. I'm doing some crazy shit here right now with it. Uh, did I miss a line here? Here, here. Um, no, I cannot do that. It's an object. 
you can convert to array if you really want. Yeah, I know that there, there's a way, but what I what I'm doing is probably terrible. There, let's start over. <laughs> Let's think this through. Um, I don't really need the nicknames. So the the thing about indexing the nicknames only useful to avoid duplicates and to, I mean to rewrite to rewrite to check the values now. I only need to check the values. Mm -hmm. And therefore I will have the count of faults. So I can... I think I'm gonna write the same. I was writing. But it's okay. It's okay. So f for each answer, for each answer, and I need the index, um, I will have an object, and that object will contain the text, and will contain the number. Var. Um, I need the number of votes. The number of votes is the number of properties the object has. So either I convert it to an array. How do you convert an object to an array? Is array from object? Is this a thing in JavaScript? Someone tell me please, because my JavaScript is too rusty right now. Um, current all of holes. Will this take only the values? Can there be more objects than votes? What? Object property equals value. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, TBC. With map. No, no, no. I have votes is an object to be able to index by username to avoid duplicates. Because that was an easy way to avoid duplicates. Um, how do you convert that to? an array of values with map. Ah, I, I get what you mean. An object has the map. Can you map properties? To an I mean, I thought map, filter, and all those functions will apply only to arrays, not to objects. That's the problem I am having. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna ask Google. JavaScript uh, object to array. Maybe you're, maybe you're right. It's just... Object values. Ah, values. I think I've used this. Yeah, values. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
All right. So now percentage if moon votes equals zero, then it's zero. Other otherwise, it is. And I'm gonna do this. No, I'm gonna do this. And probably, probably I can. If I'm only using it here now, I'm gonna do this, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna use it somewhere else. Yeah, okay, let's 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 keep it like this. And now I'm going to take votes, and because it's already an array, I can do filter. Um, and that is equals to uh, this one, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, the number of votes with that value divided by num votes. And because it's going to be a percentage to print, I'm going to Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this is okay. I'm gonna multiply it this way. Now, this I want it to be a, an object. I, I guess it works. I'm a little bit confused about this notation. Mm, so we have the result. Okay. And now the console log we had here. Oh, we had it here yet. We, we still have it there. And now results. I mapped, so it's an array of objects. I will sort it. Why not? Sort AB. Oops. And a dot so it's going to be either sorted good or bad <laughs> and then I can do client oh it has to be a number okay thanks for, to point that out I, I don't know why I had in my head it had to be boolean, but yeah, it, it, it has to be three different values, not two. It has to be either negative, zero, or positive. Yeah, that's right. Client on say channel um, I need a loop. So it's each It's coming together now. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work, but we'll see. Ah, let, let, let's call this something. Results. Result.percentage. Okay. Let's try it. I need some water. Let's see if it does not break. It breaks, okay. I see. I see the problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this, 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 I don't see the problem. Well, I mean, I can do this. But... 
So this goes here. This is the function. Oh, maybe I need to do a block because it has... No, I, I, I'm... <laughs> I keep struggling with this notation. One more, one more parenthesis. Why? This is match it with that one. It says one more, but I don't see it needs one more. Unless... No, that's an if. I don't see how it needs one more. Okay, I, let's see with the brackets. Because I know there's... The column was here, so maybe that was the problem. The column makes the, the brackets needed. I don't know. Because it's not a value, it's... Uh, okay. Unexpected token column. Uh, <laughs> now this is going to be a tough one. And again this notation, because here I'm putting an object, not a code block. And I'm struggling with this because it seems like... Like it's the same notation for two different things. Uh, on the other hand, we have a column here of, because of the ternary too. I can do this just in case, but I don't think that's it. Um, let me try just in case that's it. But it's not. I mean, why would be this... Ooh, actually, look at that. I have a typo here. But why would... Why would this be an object and not a code block as in other parts. <laughs> Should I do this for it to be an object? <laughs> that could be funny if I fix it like that. <laughs> I mean it has to be an object now that is inside the parentheses. Okay, I guess it's time to, to test it out. I'm nervous. First of all, I'm going to start with... Verifying that the previous, <laughs> previous functionality is still working. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start a poll. Well, I'm gonna copy the example we have here. In the... In the documentation. Okay, we broke it already. It crashed. But the hot new poll thing, I like it. I like it. Now, what I don't like is the for each that broke in line 81. Uh, property for each of undefined. So I don't like that to be undefined. Maybe it's because I put answer instead of answers. <laughs> this is a problem with Beam. I, was, I mean, I love Beam, but... Uh, yeah. Doesn't complain with things like this. Let's write about that right what. Yeah, why not? Let me verify that answer is in the right places. And I didn't commit the same mistake somewhere else. No, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Hey there, sexy bot. Hey! What's that, Nightbot? Ah, Nightbot has also the pull command. Oh, I should disable it in, in Nightbot. Okay. TVC says one, I will say two. I should have put a console log on, on those. <laughs> Someone else wants to vote? I'm gonna change to one again. I'm gonna change my vote. Answer Fintel says two. Okay. Good, good to go. I'm gonna end poll.
TVC changed to a value that doesn't work. Okay, it will ignore it. I, I assume. I hope. Okay, end poll. And it crashed, of course, because values is not a function. <gasps> oh, there's not such a thing as values. I should have done object dot values and inside the object, I think. Oh, shoot. It's kind of a defect already in that no one can put a number in if they're not voting for a poll. What? No, but the thing is, polls last like one minute. When when a poll is going on, at least the polls we we do in this stream and in other streams I've seen, it's it's something very fast. Like okay, let's do this poll. People is voting. I don't think that's a problem. If someone randomly says one, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that was that was a blunder by me. <laughs> that was a real blunder. Um, so this is in reality object dot values of the object. That makes some sense. I don't know if Paul could go for a couple of weeks. No, it's not. It's not going to be the case. It's not intended for that. It's not a poll like okay. It's like two different scenarios, and definitely we should cover both. Uh, a poll that can last for several weeks can be something like, okay, Veeam versus Emacs, let's say. And the poll is always there, and the bot from time to time asks in the chat, hey guys, what do you prefer, Veeam or Emacs? And, and then probably not to collide with other polls instead of giving numbers you should give words maybe let's say like v emacs and you, you need to type that and then there are the polls that we all every stream and the ones i do and the ones joey does or or kaito um when you do a poll like what are we going to do next do we do a uh, Crazy House Arena? Do we do uh, Hand and Brain? Um, and then you give three, four options and people vote and in, in a minute you end the poll. So it's, yeah, those... And that's the one I'm, I'm thinking of when coding this. Uh, could be in Discord or something. Yeah, also that. Poll with timeout would be less maintenance because of fire and forget. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's try this, guys. Uh, I'm not even gonna console log anything else. Oh wait. If it broke here, we should have seen this, right? Let me verify for a second. Yes. TVC voted one. Pepelu voted one, and Surfintal voted two. It works, guys, because I voted 2, then changed to 1, and TVC voted 1, and then typed 4, which is not a change. So it worked. Okay, I'm, I'm even going to delete this, because I'm so confident that this is working. Let's try again. Hey there, Mr. Bot. Create a poll. Oh, forking Nightbot. I'm gonna disable poll in Nightbot. Can I do this? Oh, it's not Delcom? Ah, the command does not exist. Uh, so it's it's not a custom command. I need to disable it some some, some somewhat differently. Okay, let's vote for two. I'm gonna change to one, and finally I'm gonna change to two. No, it's nightbot. It's one of yeah, one of uh, the core the core nightbot commands probably. 
but I kind of dislike that Nightbot is in, like I mean Nightbot actually replied in the middle of the, the two options type 1 for Han and Brain Nightbot says invalid parameter and then type 2 for Crazy House ah, come on forking Nightbot okay so we have uh, one vote for one and two and one vote for two I think I'm gonna end the poll Now, we don't know if the sword is working, <laughs> so I'm gonna... I'm gonna do another poll with three options, actually. I, I, I love it. I love how... I, I love the fire. Um... It would be nice to have some other vote, someone voting for three or for one. Or... The phone looks trashy. Yeah, we need to find a better one, but but I like the the idea. Uh, someone else wants to vote. I guess to check the sort with two votes. Uh... <laughs> I can change and see a hundred percent and the rest zeros, but <laughs> it's gonna be ugly. Okay, never mind. Okay, now I see how it is sorted. I think I prefer the other way, right? From top to bottom. Yeah, I prefer the other way. Okay, and let me for a second try to configure to uh, customize Nightbot. Uh, how is this? Uh, Death Knight? No. Nightbot Beta Nightbot TV. Here it is. Oh, no, no, not here. But here working on it. <laughs> I need to log in, really. You can say bad words in the chat. <laughs> um, commands, custom and default. I guess Paul is default and I can disable. Yeah, it's enabled and I can disable. Okay. Perfect. What else do we have here? Commands, filters, game. Game is okay. Untitled is okay. Songs. So does Paul bot work okay? Let's try, let's try again. I think it's working, guys. First version. Rawr. Someone vote, please. Not three, Surfintal. There's two options. Please vote for one of the two so we can see the proper result. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So now we should have 66% and 33%. Actually, decimals. Let's see how <laughs> I did this. 
because I didn't care about the representation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I expected. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not wrong, to be honest, it's not wrong, but probably we we prefer to limit the output to two decimals. What's the best way to do it without doing calculations? I'm sure there's something in JavaScript to format a number. Two decimal places, the typical format two decimals. To fixed, look at that, to fixed to. With any number, oh, numbers are objects in JavaScript. Uh huh. So I can, so I can take, um, Let's say I do it when I print it. To fix two. In theory, this is it. Let's launch the bot again. Okay, this is the final test, guys. Another vote for the decimals. Uh, thank you, but now if this is 50 50, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have two votes for each, but if we change, we have 25 and 75. <laughs> we need another to vote. Yeah, but this is now 75 25. We need it, we have four people voting now. And it's not like you can withdraw once you voted. So we need a fifth one. <laughs> oh, fifth one will not help. We need two more voters. <laughs> can I vote vote? Yeah, but I would need to log in with, with the bot. Yeah, any 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 a bot is another user, yeah. Make say command. Oh yeah, we should do that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let, let's end the poll and, and, and test it again. Yeah, we changed all every. We we all changed to two. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try to do. I'm gonna wait for you to vote. So we have one, two. I I want three votes. Two for one, one for the other. Um, okay, one of you. I'm not gonna vote now because you, the, the three of you, voted. One of you changed to one, please. Just, no, it's okay. One of you changed to one. Okay, thank you, Sir Fintel. No, what? What happened here? Oh. I'm stupid. I know what happened. I know. I know. I didn't clear it. <laughs> <laughs> 
instead of putting active to false, let's do this. <laughs> okay, guys, no worries, no worries. This is gonna be just erase votes. They're erased now. I mean, I'm just setting the, the object to, to the first value with no question, no answers. Cannot be. There's no way it, it, it fails. Um, what should we do next? Okay, we have a two, we have a one, and another two, perfect. Perfect format now. Maybe to fix one is enough? I don't know, the, the usual is two decimal. Right? No, I would put two. I, I would do two. I mean, I don't think we're gonna have so many, so many people voting that this is relevant, but. Yeah, maybe, maybe not required such a precision, but I, I'm so used to the two decimal places, like with money or with uh, most things, that feels weird to use one, to me. I don't know. Um, I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay to say this is a good version one of this. Um, we added a to-do to allow moderators to create creating polls. Oh, actually, uh, there's one thing I didn't try, but I guess it's okay. If we do this, now if I'm doing a, another end poll, it should do nothing, although it does. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm not checking anything. Uh, if current poll active, oh, it should have been an else. Yeah, if current poll active. I check for fall. Else, I should do this. If I do it always, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't mind. It says the results again. I don't mind. And Paul says the results again. But yeah, I guess it's not okay. Um. Yeah. You could put auto messages to tell when the poll ends. Poll ends in 10 seconds. Yeah, that's when I put the timeout. But for, for now, no need to nest. Uh, there is else if. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Readability. Okay, let's use the else if. I think and call right after restart will crash. You think so? I don't think so. I don't think it, it will crash. 
I don't think it, it, it shouldn't crash at all. Uh, the thing is now and Paul will ignore me. Okay, yeah, let's test it, of course. Let's restart. It should just ignore me. Yeah, it does nothing. And poll, when I already created a poll, should also ignore me. Um, which is fine by me. I mean, the alternative would be to to tell me something. Like, hey, we are... There's no active poll. I could do that. Hey, Pepe, there's no active poll. You stupid. Created with the command exclam poll. I think that should be the, the best. Mm. I don't know. I feel tired. <laughs> I think I'm... I'm gonna be satisfied with this already. <laughs> it, it does the... it does the trick. Now, it will be nice to find better better words than this uh, yeah we're all tired uh, better words no I'm, I meant better characters for the hot new poll text it would be so nice if we find uh, better ones also allowing mods to create polls I'm gonna let that for the future also. Um, how can I find sexy Unicode uh, characters? Unicode, but bar chart for results. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. I like it. I like that to do. I'm gonna add it to my code. Standard deviation and variance as well. <laughs> Text fonts, what is that? Let me have a look. 